We welcome you in this wonderful moment. We are having a service at full gospel churches of Kenya, Mumias. And we welcome everybody to be coming to our service. You are welcome. Every first Sunday of the month is a miracle service. And we welcome all people with different issues. You can come for a service and we can pray together and you can meet Jesus. Today, I would like to talk about open doors. Open doors. Milango au malango yaliyofunguka. For you to have to have open doors. Ili wewe ukuwe na milango yaliyofunguka. You need to know your position. Ya kupasa ujue sehemu yako. Who you are. Wewe ni nani? And what is your position? Na wewe wausika na nini? So that God can meet your needs. Ulipo kuwa na tamaniyo la kununuwa gari. So uyo mwenye ulikuwa na ile tamaa ya kununuwa gari. Ila ni munga leweke ilo tamaniyo ndani ya moyo wako. Ili munga timize ilo itachi. When you have an expectation of starting a business, it is not you thinking about it. God put it inside you. Ukiwa na matumaini ya kuanzisha biashara usijue kadhania ya kwamba ni wewe ndio una yale matarajio ya kuanzisha ile biashara ni Mungu ndiye aliweka ile matarajio ndani yako put it in you na kama Mungu aliweka matarajio ndani yako he planned it for you basi alikupangia you shall not fail hautafail ama utashinda he has utashin. an answer to your expectations yeye ana majibu kwa matarajio yako god has all 
answer to our expectations. Mungu ana majibu yote kwa ajili ya matarajio yetu. Because they come from him. Maana yatoka kwake. Our expectation come from our father. Matarajio yetu yako kwa baba yetu. It come from God. Yatoka kwa Mungu yatoki kwetu wenyewe. Everything that your prayer shall be impossible. Usijue kadhania kwamba maombi yako hayatajibiwa. It shall not be too hard for you. Eti ya kwamba yale maombi yatakuwa yasiwezekana. Because those expectation are from God. Tafahamu ya kwamba kila matarajio yatoka kwa Mungu. And God shall meet them. Na Mungu atakutana na matarajio yako. Somebody say amen. Mtu aseme amina. Somebody say amen. Hoja ya sita. The Bible say Biblia yasema you are a glowing city on the hill. Wewe ni mji unaongaa unaongaa mlimani. Wewe ni mji unaongaa juu ya mlima. You are God city. Wewe ni mji wa Mungu not in the valley. Hauko kwenye bonde because people want to see you. Manake watu wanapaswa wakuone. But you are God city. Lakini wewe ni mji wa Kimungu on the hill juu ya mlima ama kwenye kilele cha mlima so that the world can see you ili ulimwengu uweze kukuona and god is going to make you a glowing city na Mungu atakufanya uwe mji unaongaa Matthew chapter 5 verses 14 Mathayo mlango wa 5 mstari wa 14 Let me read from the living version living uh, version Nisome kwenye nakala iliyo hai The Bible say like this Biblia sema hivi You are the world's light wewe ndiwe nuru ya ulimwengu Tell your friend you are the light of the world Mwambie jirani yako wewe ni nuru ya ulimwengu You are the light of the world wewe ni nuru ya ulimwengu You are the world's light wewe ndiye nuru ya ulimwengu a city mji on a hill juu ya mlima glowing unaonga in the might unaonga zaidi kwa umati glowing in the might unangoa unangaa kwa ukuu for all to see unangaa na mngao wake ni mkuu ili watu wote waweze kuona glowing unangaa in might kwa ukuu in might kwa ukuu for all to see ili watu wote waweze kuona Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell your friend you are a glowing city. Mbia mwenzako ya kwamba wewe ni mji unaongaa. You are glowing a city. Wewe ni mji unaongaa. In fact we are a star. We are not looking for a star because we are stars ourselves. Hatutafuti nyota, si wenyewe ndio nyota. Don't go somewhere looking for a star. You yourself you are a star. Usiende kutafuta nyota mali. Wewe mwenyewe ni nyota. Zambo ni klabu Jesus. Tampigie Yesu makofi. Bible say we are a glowing city. Neno lasema ya kwamba sisi ni mji unaonga. Glowing. Unaonga. Glowing. Unanga for people to see. Ili watu waone. Every time you are starting a business. Kila wakati unapoanza biashara. God will for people to see. Mungu atakubariki akubariki. To see. Ili watu waweze kuona, waone. To see. Waone. We have come on this earth for people to see us. Tumekuja hapa duniani ili watu watuone. They see us. Watu waone as a city. Kama mji. Of God. Mji wa Mungu. Glowing. Unaonga. Glowing. Unaonga. Glowing. Unanga. Our daughters may you be ready for a glow. Hebu binti zetu mwe tayari kwa kunga. As you grow up, you know that a glowing. A glowing city is growing up. Mji unaonga unakuwa Every child of God kila mwana wa Mungu is designed to glow ameumbwa ili aweze kungaa ah, ah, hallelujah hallelujah you are a city wewe ni mji on the hill kwenye kilele cha mlima sio kwenye bonde you are a city on wewe the hill wewe ni mji juu ya mlima god is about to take you on the hill karibu Mungu akupeleke kwenye I kilele cha mlima god is taking you on the hill I say God is taking you on the hill. Mungu anakupeleka juu ya mlima, juu ya mlima, juu ya mlima to glow. Ungai to glow. 
that people may see the glory of the Lord. People may see the glory of the Lord. The Bible says like this. Biblia sema hivi. In the last days, na siku za mwisho, there shall be darkness. Kutakuwa na giza. Gross darkness. Giza iliyoku. Upon the people. Juu ya wote. People shall not have peace. Watu watakuwa na amani. People shall fight and fight. Watu watapigana hapa na pale. They shall not stay together. Hawatakaa pamoja. People shall be sick. What what akoba gonjo But the Bible says Lakini Biblia yasema Those who wait upon the Lord Wao te wanaomngoja Bwana The glory of the God shall be upon them and the glory of the Lord shall be upon them Utukufu And everybody shall see the glory Lakini mtu ataona utukufu wa Mungu This is the time for people to see the glory Huu ni wakati wa watu kuona utukufu wa Mungu Oh I say people shall see the glory of God on you Ninasema watu wataona utukufu wa Mungu kwako wewe. Number 7. Hoja ya saba. You must know ni vyema ufahamu that you are position to be an ambassador. Ya kwamba sehemu yako ni wewe kuwa balozi. Your rights are from heaven. Haki zako zatoka mbinguni. Your security is from heaven. Ulinzi wa kama usalama wako pia watoka mbinguni. Your economy is heavenly economy. Na pia uchumi wako ni uchumi wa mbinguni. Ambassador does not depend on the economy of the people where he has gone. Ah baloza tegemee uchumi wa mahali alikotumwa. Ambassador depend on the economy of those who sent him. Ah baloza anategemea uchumi wa wale waliomtuma. Heaven sent you. Mbingu ilikutuma. Heaven shall care for you. Mbingu itakushughulikia. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verses 20. Wa Korintho wa pili mlango wa 5 mstari wa 20. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verses 20. Wa Korintho wa pili mlango wa 5 mstari wa 20. Now then we are ambassadors for Christ. Basi sasa sisi ni mabalozi wa Kristo. When the plague was upon Egypt. Wakati kulikuwa na mapigo kule Misri. The 10 plagues were upon Egypt. Yale mapigo kumi aliyowapata wa Misri. And the judgment of God was upon Egypt. Na hukumu ya Mungu ikawa juu ya wa Misri. When there was darkness in Egypt. Wakati kulikuwa na giza totoro kule Misri. The ambassadors of God, mabalozi wa Mungu, the children of Israel, wana wa Israeli, had light in Goshen. Walikuwa na nuru kule Gosheni. May you have light in your Goshen. Uwe na nuru kwenye Gosheni yako. We have light in our Goshen. Uwe na nuru Gosheni mwa yako. You are a God's ambassador. Wewe ni balozi wa Mungu. God's ambassador. Balozi wa Mungu. You are God's ambassador. Wewe ni balozi wa Mungu. The Bible say, Biblia yasema, we are the salt of this earth. Sisi ni chumvi ya dunia hii. And if salt is not anywhere there is no taste. Na chumvi basi ikikosa ladha haina manufaa. The world is waiting to be tasty when Christians are being blessed. Ulimwengu utakuwa na ladha wakati wa Kristo wanabarikiwa. May God give you value. Hebu Mungu akupe uthamani. May you add value where you are coming from. Uongeze uthamani mahali unakotoka. You are the salt of Tanzania. Wewe ndiwe chumvi ya Tanzania. Tanzania cannot be Tanzania without you. Tanzania iwezi kuwa Tanzania bila wewe. Did you know when Christians are not in Kenya Kenya will be destroyed? Hivi wajua ya kwamba wakristo wakikosa Kenya Kenya itaangamia. We are the soul. Sisi ndio chumvi. I say we are the soul. Hivi nasema sisi ndio chumvi. I say we are the soul. Sema sisi ndio chumvi. Haleluya. Haleluya. Number 8. Hoja ya nane. God has given you the keys of the kingdom of heaven so that whatever you open shall be open and shall not be closed Mungu amekupa funguo za mbinguni vikwamba chochote utakachofunga kitafungwa na kile ambacho unafungulia kitafunguliwa 
And whatever you close shall be closed. Chochote utakachofunga kitafungwa. Isaiah 22 verses 22. Isaiah 22 mstari wa 22. Isaiah 22 verses 22. Isaiah 22 22. The Bible says like this. Biblia sema hivi. And the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder. Na basi funguo za nyumba ya Daudi nitaweka mabegani mwake. So he shall open and none shall shut. Basi atafungua na wala hamna atakayefunga. And he shall shut. Naye atafunga and none shall open na hamna atakayefungua god is saying like this mungu yasema hivi that he will give the keys to jesus atampa yesu funguo who the government is upon his shoulder ambaye ufalme uko mabegani mwake but let me read about the keys in the book of matthew chapter 16 verses 19 na naomba nisome kwenye kuhusu habari za ufunguo ku habari za kuhusu ufunguo kwenye kitabu cha Mathayo 16:19 Matthew chapter 16 verses 19 Mathayo 16:19 The Bible says like this Biblia sema hivi I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven Basi nitakupa funguo za ufalme wa mbinguni And God in heaven Naye Mungu wa mbinguni will allow whatever you allow. Ataruhusu kile tu ambacho wewe utaruhusu. But he will not allow. Na kamwe hataruhusu. He will not allow. Kamwe hataruhusu. He will not allow. Kamwe hataruhusu anything you don't allow. Kile ambacho wewe hautakiruhusu. Jesus is saying like this. Yes, you are saying hivi. I have been given the keys. Nimepewa funguo. I have been given the keys. Nimepewa funguo. The keys of the kingdom of heaven. Funguo za ufalme wa mbinguni. If I open, nikifungua, things just come. Vitu vyatiririka tu vya If I open, nikifungua, angels just become. Malaika watashuka tu. I have the key. Ninafunguo but I'm going back to heaven. Lakini sasa mimi narejea mbinguni. But I don't want to go with the keys. Na singelipenda nirejee na funguo. I want to leave the keys with you. Ningelipenda niwaachie funguo hizi. So he says take the key. But I say manjo chukua hizi funguo. Me I'm going to heaven. Mimi naenda mbinguni. But I'm leaving you the keys. Mimi naenda mbinguni lakini nakuachia funguo. You will be the one responsible on the earth. Wewe ndio utawajibika hapa duniani. Me I'll be waiting for you. Mimi nitakuwa nakusubiri kule mbinguni. When you open, ukifungua, I open. Mimi pia nafungua. When you close, ukifunga, I close. Nami pia nafunga. You can go to the earth now. You can Kasa, go to the earth. enda. Wewe enda duniani. But listen. Lakini naomba usikize. When you open, ukifungua, I will open in heaven. Mimi nafungua mbinguni. When you allow, ukiruhusu, I will allow. Mimi pia naruhusu. When you refuse, ukikataa, I refuse. Ah, mimi pia nakataa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody clap for Jesus. Hebu tupige bwana Yesu makofi. I have come to give you good news. Nimekuja kupeni habari njema. I have come to give you good news. Nimekuja kukupa habari njema. Jesus left the key to you. Yesu aliacha zile funguo kwako. You have the keys. Yesu alikuachia funguo. Una zile funguo. I, I, I will give you the keys. Nitakupa funguo. I will give you the keys. Nitakupa funguo. You have the key. Unazo funguo. I say you have the key. Nasema unazo funguo. You have the key. Unazo funguo. When you shut, ukifunga, I will shut. Nitafunga. When you open, ukifungua, I will open. Nitafungua. That is where Joshua, hapo ndio Joshua, when Joshua was fighting, Joshua alipokuwa vitani, He did something that science does not allow. Alifanya kitu ambacho sayansi kama haikubali haikubaliani nacho. He told this he, he talked to the sun. Alizungumzia jua. 
son sema jua can you stop naomba usimame hapa until i finish fighting hadi nimalize vita and the son stopped na jua likatii likakomea pale pale when you close ukifunga i close ninafunga elijah elia told the rain akaiambia mvua i elijah son of somebody mimi elia mwana wa subi i want to take this time nataka nichukue muda huu to close the rain kufunga mvua Three years. Miaka mitatu. And Elijah said, "Hey." Elia kasema, "Ewe mvua." Despite the fact that we have geography and science. Licha ya kuwa na geography na historia, but I want to be above geography and science. Lakini naomba niwe juu ya geografia na science. I rain don't rain for three and a half years. Na kuamurisha ewe mvua. Usije ukandisha kwa dakika mitatu nusu. And when Elijah said rain don't rain, Elia aliposema mvua usinyeshe. Information was given in heaven. Isile zile taarifa ikafika mbinguni. Somebody has closed the rain. Ah, taarifa zikafika mbinguni kuna mtu ambaye ameifungia mvua. So rain must be closed. Sasa mvua lazima ifungwe. Because the key the, the holder of the key has closed. Maana aliye na ufunguo pale duniani amefunga mvua. Somebody clap for Jesus. Hebu mtampigie bwana Yesu makofi. Somebody clap for Jesus. Mtampigie bwana Yesu makofi. Somebody clap for Jesus. Mtampigie Yesu makofi. Today. Leo hii. Today. Leo. And not tomorrow. Na sio kesho. We are closing the door of poverty. Tufunga malango ya umaskini. Tunafunga milango ya umaskini. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. We are closing the door of sickness. Tufunga milango ya magonjwa. Sickness we close you. Magonjwa tunakufunga. Every door of lack we close. Tufunga mlango wa upungufu ama kukosefu. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. If you listen to my preaching of last time. Kama ulisikia mahubiri yangu ya ile siku iliyopita about the power of faith. Kuhusu mamlaka yaliyo kwenye imani. I said, nalisema, if there is a, a, witch, a witch man who is who is disturbing you, you just stand at one of the corners and you say God I'm facing this this witch man. This witch. Kama chuma mungu na mchawa na kusumbua sumbua pale nyumbani wewe simama tu mara alafu ambie mungu sasa hivi mungu hivi mimi nakabiliana na huyu mchawi i am short slender and i'm a woman but i'm trying to face the, the, the witch man here haya basi mimi naweza kuwa wanjibi na tena mimi ni mwanamke lakini nataka nikabiliane na huyu mchawi and i'm telling you which power you will not operate again from today alafu basi unamwambia ile mchawi hivi naomba nikwambie kuanzia hivi leo hautaendelea na shughuli zako then you go back and take your tea alafu unarejea kwako nyumbani unakunywa chai because you are a king maana wewe ni mfalme you are king wewe ni mfalme because every degree of a king maana kila amri ya mfalme we have servants to ensure the degree has taken place kuna wale watumishi wa kuhakikisha kwamba kilichotangazwa kinatimia and the angels of god are always listening to your signals na daima dawa wa malaika wa Mungu wao wasikie ishara kutoka kwako. When you say one, two, three, go, the angels move. Sema haya malaika moja mbili tatu twende shughuli wanaanza. They start working for wanaanza you. kufanya kazi kwa ajili yako because you are a boss. Maana wewe ni mkubwa. You have been called to reign in life. Umeitwa utawala hapa katika you maisha haya. King. Wewe ni mfalme. Raise and sit down. Umenuliwa umeketishwa. Raise and sit. Umenuliwa na umeketishwa. You decide a thing. Unatangaza kitu and then you decree. Unaamua kitu kisha unatangaza and then God shines favor. Alafu Mungu anang'aa kibali upon your ways. Kwenye njia zako. And the Bible say, na hiyo Biblia yasema, you are a prophet on your own. Wewe ni nabii kivyako. You don't need to put on a kanzu to be a prophet. Hauhitaji uvalie kanzu ndipo uwe nabii. Just go to your saloon and look nice. Nenda tu kwenye chumba cha kusuka nywele alafu useme. Stand dhibu. like a daughter of God. Stimama kama binti wa Mungu. Prophesy over your enemies. Tabiria maadui zako. Prophesy over your mountain. Tabiria mlima wako. And the Bible Say, whatever things you say it shall take place i say it shall take place it shall take place it shall take place it shall take place isaiah 
45 verses 2 Isaya 45 mstari wa pili As I finish Ninapotamatisha The Bible say Biblia yasema Isaya 45 mstari wa pili I will go before thee Nitaenenda mbele zako and make the crooked places straight Na kunyosha njia zilizopinda I will break in pieces the gates of brass Basi malango ya shamba ndaivunja nitavunja malango ya shamba vipande vipande and cut in sunder the bars of iron na kuikatakata malango ya chuma and i will give thee the treasures of darkness na nitakupa hazina iliyofichwa kwenye giza and hidden treasures of secret places na zile iliyofichwa mahali pasiri that thou mayest know that i the lord ili ukaweze kufahamu kwamba mimi bwana Mungu wako which called thee mimi nilikuita kwa jina lako i'm the god of israel mimi ndiye bwana Mungu wa israeli i want us to just read another one verse as we finish ningelipenda tusome tu mstari mmoja tunapotamatisha isaiah chapter 60 verses 11 isaiah mlango wa 60 mstari wa 11 i read from the version known as message nasoma kutoka kwa nakala na inaitwa ujumbe the bible say like this biblia sema hivi your gates malango yako will always stand open kila mara atabakia wazi another version say it will stand nyingine, 24 hours tafsiri nyingine yasema ya kwamba yatabakia wazi masaa 24 another version say it will stand day and night tafsiri nyingine yasema atabakia wazi usiku na mchana they will never be shut day and night malango yako hayatafungwa so that people ili watu may bring you the wealth of the nation. Waweze kuletea utajiri wa mataifa. God wants you in your life to have open doors. Mungu anataka maishani mwako uwe na malango yaliyo wazi. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Ninatabiri kwa jina la Yesu. Let open doors be upon you. Wacha malango yaliyo wazi yawe fungu lako. Doors open for you. Wacha malango yaliyo wazi yawe fungu lako. My view wherever you are. Popote mtazamaji mahali ulipo. I prophesy open doors for you. Natabiri malango yaliyo wazi kwa ajili yako. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Father I thank you for my view wherever you are. Baba nakushukuru kwa ajili ya watazamaji in the name of Jesus kwa jina la Yesu God may you touch him Mungu hebu waguze touch him guze and bless him na umbariki in Jesus name we pray kwa jina la Yesu twaomba amen amen my viewer wherever you are watazamaji wangu popote mlipo we love you so much hivi tunawapenda sana if there is a prayer we want us to pray together endapo kuna ombi lolote ambalo ungelipenda tuombe pamoja you can always call basi naomba tu unipigie simu we have a, a number on the screen kuna uh, nambari ambayo inapita pale we can call you can call waweza kunipigia simu then uh, we can pray with you kisha tuweza kuomba pamoja for the next 30 minutes i can still you can still call and we pray with you kama kwa dakika 30 ambazo zafuatia unaweza nipigia simu tukaomba pamoja remember our message are on the youtube na pia kumbuka ya kwamba ujumbe huu unanaswa kwenye YouTube. We have a link on the screen. Na pia tuna ile namna ya kufikia iko pale Dr. Uchilo Youth. A daktari Uchilo Youth. God bless you so much. Mungu awabariki sana. We love you so much. Hivi tunawapenda kweli. And we welcome you again. Tunawakaribisha tena na tena. Be blessed. Hey, 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 hey.